Section 5.1, Prime and Composite Numbers. A natural number m is divisible by a natural number n if there exists a natural number k such that n equals m times k. When m is divisible by n, we say that n is a factor of m. And m is a multiple of n. Forty eight is divisible by four. Four is a factor of forty eight, and forty eight is a multiple of four. Examples. 12 is divisible by 3 because 3 times 4 equals 12. Find all natural number factors of 36. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. A factorization of a natural number n is the product of two numbers where n equals a times b. A factorization of 40 is 5 times 8. Another factorization of 40 is 2 times 20 or 4 times 10. A prime number is a natural number greater than one whose only factors are just one and itself. Example, the first five prime numbers are two, three, five, seven, eleven. A composite number has factors other than one in itself. The first five composite numbers are four, six, eight, nine, ten. Looking at the table, it's called the sieve of Eratrasis. I believe that's how you say it. And we don't have a 1 on there because 1 is not prime or composite. 1, to be prime, a number needs to have factors of 1 and itself. It needs to have two factors. The number 1 only has one factor, so it is not prime or composite. Starting with the number 2, 2 is prime. Its only factors are 1 and 2. We're going to cross off the even numbers because they all have factors of 2, so they are not prime. Look at that. Okay. Looking at 3, 3 is prime. Its only factors are 1 and itself. So we're going to go ahead and cross out our multiples of 3 that are not crossed off yet. Fifty-one, careful, fifty-one is my favorite composite number. It is three times seventeen. Crossing off multiples of 3. 
81. It's a multiple of 3. Sorry, I missed it. 93. And 99. Okay. Looking at our next number in our chart still is 5. 5 is prime. Its only factors are 1 and 5. So now we can cross out all the multiples of 5 that are not gone yet. Which is our whole 5 column. And our whole 10 column is gone. 7 is prime, one in itself. Okay, look for any factors of seven that we have not eliminated yet. 49's a goner. Seventy seven. Ninety-one. Careful there. Okay. Is there are factors of seven. I believe we are at our primes. Because eight, nine, ten, eleven. We've got we're rid of twenty-two, thirty-three, thirty, forty-four, fifty-five, sixty-six. Yep, eleven's done. Thirteen will be twenty-six. Thirty-nine. 52, 65, 78, 91, done. Okay, what we are left with are our prime numbers. Eleven, we're gonna circle what's left. Thirteen, seventeen, nineteen. 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43, oh, there goes Cuckoo, 47, 53, 59, 61, 67, 71, 73, 79, 83, 89, and 97. Those are the prime numbers from 0 to, uh, yeah, zero to 100. When we're talking about numbers being divisible by other ones, here we go. Divisible by 2, the divisibility test. Is the number ends in a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8? 8. 8,466 ends in a 6. It is divisible by 2. Divisible by 3. The sum of the digits is divisible by 3. 525. 5 plus 5 is 10. Plus that 2 is 12. 12 is divisible by 3. So 525 is divisible by 3. 4, the divisibility test. The last two digits form a number divisible by 4. 948. 48 is divisible by 4. So 948 is divisible by 4. Five, number ends in zero or five, 490, and 5,355, both divisible by five. Divisible by six, the number is divisible by both two and three. 5,328. Looking at the 8, it's divisible by 2. Adding the digits, 5 plus 3 is 8, plus 2 is 10, plus 8 is 18, which is divisible by 3. So 5,328 is divisible by 6. Divisible by 8, if the last three digits form a number, divisible by 8. 5,232, 232 is divisible by 8, 
So 5,232 is divisible by 8. 9. Sum of the digits is divisible by 9. 4,923. 4 plus 9 is 13. Plus 2 is 15. Plus 3 is 18. 18 is divisible by 9. So 4,923 is divisible by 9. And 10. The last digit is a 0. 4,930 ends in a 0, so it's divisible by 10. A conjecture is an educated guess based on repeated observations of a particular process or pattern. A proof is a series of statements showing that if one thing is true, something else necessarily follows from it. A theorem is a statement that can be demonstrated to be true by accepted mathematical operations and arguments. The fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Every natural number can be expressed in one and only one way as a product of primes. This unique product of primes is called the prime factorization of the natural number. Example, use a prime factor tree to find the prime factorization of 1,540. I'm going to start with 1,540, and that is 2 times 770. 2 is prime, so I'm going to break 770 down into 2 times 385. 2 is prime, so I'm going to break 385 into 5 times 77. 5 is prime, 77 is 7 times 11. The prime factorization of 1,540 is 2 squared times 5 times 7 times 11. That is section 5.1, prime and composite numbers.